Hi everyone, my name is Shruti and welcome to my channel. I'm really happy to talk about something which is very, very critical in every young parent's life. Uh, it extends from my book, The Wrong ABCs of Preschools, which is absolutely a handbook for any parent who's starting the journey of uh, preschooling with their children. And all I want to say is there are a lot of apprehensions and queries that you keep having. We end up asking to Google as well, the neighbors and other peer group who may have their children, uh, you know, going to preschools and you'll be looking at reviews and asking questions. But here I wanted to make this video so that you are independent of this decision. And what are the things that you need to keep in mind or how do you recognize that the preschool that you are willing to opt for your child is a high quality preschool or how do you select a right preschool for your child's development? Having said that, early childhood development is a very critical space to be in wherein you are going to invest your time, money and uh, quality uh, that, that is you know, building the foundation of each children, each building the foundation of each child. This area is so critical that whatever you do, the kind of environment, the kind of experiences, the kind of uh, dialogues your children will be having, the kind of, uh, you know, content or online or offline, anything that they'll be consuming is going to really make them, uh, you know, design their own perception about the world. And that can be really critical for them to build their own personalities, build their own uh, outlook about the whole world as a whole as a community and as a citizen. So are you ready to start this video? Uh, how and why am I making this video is because I've been part of this industry for more than 13 years now. I've worked extensively with preschool chains and preschools and early childhood space for more than seven years now. I am passionate about helping young parents and as well as in teacher development, helping them get the access and resources to help every child receive the high quality education. I'm doing my bit. I hope you could see that and take as much value you can from this channel. So let's begin. What are the things that you need to keep in mind before deciding on the preschool for your child? And how do you recognize whether the preschool is a high quality preschool? There you go. So I've had oh, many of uh, parents with this phase uh, to kind of have them settle in, to decide which school they can uh, opt for, even the formal school. But I was very uh, surprised when I kind of met and had a conversation with young parents. And I tried to understand what is the exact anxiety or the apprehension they hold and what can I do to serve them? So then I found that, you know, all the parents, all the guardians, mother, father, everyone wants uh, the best for the child right and uh, that's the only intention behind researching so much asking people and finding out the right answer but to start with I want to say there is no right answer you will have to hold on to that fear and anxiety however there is a solution available and I want to give you an excess so that you are independent uh, of this decision. You don't have to hold somebody accountable for, hey, you told me to put in the school or, um, you know, this is not good. I didn't like it. You said it's good. The reviews were good, but I don't know. I'm not settled. How do we kind of ensure and be satisfied in the end that there can be a sort of a partnership with the school and you can yourself get involved in the whole journey with your child? So first and foremost strategy or first thing you got to do is to visit the preschool or the daycare center. You must visit the early care center. Uh, there are two reasons why I would say that. One, you as an adult would sense and experience the environment in terms of safety, security, in terms of how it looks, the hygiene, uh, how, how does it make you feel? Does it, uh, you know, have all the resources and different uh, developmental accesses uh, that a preschool must have? You can look at the checklist, which I can give you if you want. You can just write me an email. I'll, I'll give you the checklist to see if these are the criteria it fulfills in terms of the environment. Let me tell you, environment is very important uh, uh, for us to grow in. We want them to enjoy. We want them to have fun with learning. We want them to learn. We want them to explore a lot of concepts. How is it possible? If the environment is not having those materials and open-ended spaces and 
resources to support those development, it is not going to make it happen. So, so first and foremost for you is to really visit the school. Of course, go through the reviews, go through the um, experiences of other people, but at the same time, you yourself make an effort to visit the school by yourself, experience the uh, uh, room, experience the center where your child is going to be. And there you go. You'll get a first instinct whether this is uh, sort of should should you you know go ahead with even the dialogue or the conversation or you want to drop it. So that's the first thing you can do. Secondly, what you will do is ask certain questions to the person uh, in charge of that center. Uh, the question could be, hey, what is your, uh, you know, approach towards education? Uh, how is my child going to have that experience? Which curriculum do you follow? Is your curriculum uh, backing any research? Uh, is your curriculum supported by any, uh, you know, universal approach that can be easier for my child. Try to ask this question to the person and see and listen to what they are answering. Uh, thirdly, you can also check on how do you plan the activities? Who designs your curriculum? How do you ensure that the activities are engageable and they are uh, you know, appropriate for my child's age group? And uh, how much involvement does it have uh, with peer group and independence? So just have that ratio in mind. Lastly, you can also, in, in this dialogue, you can also end up asking them about how much does it involve a parent? What is something that parents are expected to do or guardians is, guardian is expected to, or the adults are expected to do in the whole process of supporting the child development in that particular age group? When you pose these questions, you are giving a message to the in charge or the school community or the people who are part of the whole you know, system that you are an awakened parent, you are aware, you want to be, you, you want to be involved and you are, uh, you're not going to compromise on any quality. So ask certain questions and take note of that. When you come back with the queries, consult with someone who is in the industry or from this field. If you want to just cross check, hey, these are the answers. Is it okay? Does it satisfy me? And before even doing that, just see if it satisfies you. Just don't say, we don't care about curriculum. Let's just make them, make my child happy and play. Don't do that, parents. Don't do that, candidate. I have heard a lot of parents coming to me when I was, uh, you know, moving around a lot of preschools in that manner. They used to come and say, oh, don't talk about curriculum and academics. We just want our children or our child to be happy and have fun. Because that's the ultimate goal of a preschool, to prepare your child for the future, to develop certain skills. So you cannot be... Uh, compromised on that part and when you say so it depicts that you're 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 okay with uh you know just playing around but that's playing around for a child is learning the child around the child learns right when it is you know out in the world uh, when they see things hear things touch everything is part of their learning so don't ignore this fact note it down be very conscious as a parent or a guardian or adult responsible for the child that you want best for the child, so you have to look out for it. If you know want, want to know more about it in depth, I recommend and I suggest and really, really want you to know that you should read this book, The Wrong ABCs of Preschool, which I have only, only written to educate um, community that I worked with, uh, the parents I dealt with, uh, the kind of questions I encountered, and I wanted to address all of it. If you read this book, you get the foundation of what to expect from preschooling years. So it satisfies you, nullifies your anxiety, uh, sets you from the realistic expectations and also bonds you rightly with your own child and the school uh, your child is going to be with. In a nutshell, when you do this, it communicates that you are an informed parent or an informed adult because uh, you, you, uh, you're you aware of what are the things that your child is going to be part of day in and out. So um, for sort of three and a half hours or however, uh, whichever program you're planning to do.